Hi, I'm Deanne. Hi, I'm Crystal. We're with Empowered Mind. We provide resources in health, wellness, and self-development so that you can become the very best version of yourself. Hi, guys. We are so excited. We're talking about an important topic, finishing the goals that you set for the year and finishing it strong. It's the final quarter of the year. It is so important to kind of zone in, forget, forget about everything else that's happened throughout the year and focus. I know we've all, you know, at the beginning of the year, come up with these goals and we're excited and we want to get things accomplished. And then kind of 2020 happened and all these things have happened over the year. But I just want us to kind of zone back in, focus on our goals and finish the year right. You know, there's nothing like that last quarter, that fourth quarter of the year to finish strong. I believe if you put all your energy and all your effort into focusing on what you really want, you can truly get it accomplished by the end of the year. And give it that last, that last push um, before 2021. That's not to say that, you know, you should overwhelm yourself, but you're going to give it 100% and do your best to try to get your goals accomplished. So one of the methods that I think works really good, because this is short term, it's only two months, is the SMART method. And I think most people have heard of it. So SMART says, very, the first thing is, the S is for specific. So you have to be very, very clear on exactly what you want to do. The next thing is measurable. How do you know when the goal is completed? You know, how do you know when you can say, I'm done, I did it, I accomplished it, and then achievable, how are you going to get, get it done? And R is for relevant, you know, is this the right time to pursue the goal? With all that's been going on this year in 2020 in the whole world, is this the right time to do it? You have to ask yourself that tough question. And then the T is time bound. When are you trying to finish this goal? You know, give yourself a set date. So here's an example of a statement that you can make for a SMART method. You can say, instead of saying, oh, you know what? I want to make at least $1,000 by the end of the year. That statement is very general. So to use the SMART method to make that statement, you will say, I plan to earn $1,000 by December 25th, 2020 with a side job that I plan to get in the next week so that I can earn this money and help to purchase my brand new shoes that I love so much. I don't know. Just come up with something that you want to get and be super specific with when you're gonna do it, how you're gonna do it, what you're gonna use to get it done. And the last thing is share with someone to keep you accountable. We talked about accountability before in another uh, video, but get someone who will keep you accountable, like a family member, a friend who's gonna help keep you going, who you can talk to about what you're trying to get done by the end of the year, so. I completely agree, Crystal. Um, I think that method is an amazing method. And I think at the end of the year, you know, if you can just get one thing done, you're going to feel so much better. All right. Thank you, guys. I think that's it for today. Let us know what goals you're working on. How are you going to get it done? And leave a comment with your SMART method statement. Share with us so we can help keep you accountable to get it done in 2020. All right. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.